Hello friends, I am Sunil Ranjan Mukul and I am an English teacher. Well, now in this session I have come with the topic Humanism. And now here I begin. Humanism is the system of education and mode of inquiry that originated in Northern Italy during the 13th and 14th centuries. It later spread through continental Europe and England. It is also known as Renaissance Humanism. Because of its broad and profound influence, it emerged as one of the chief reasons that it is viewed as a distinct historical period. The fundamental idea of this period is one of renewal and reawakening and has been humanistic in origin. The term humanism enlightens. It was first employed by 19th century German scholars to select the Renaissance, the Renaissance emphasis on classical studies in education. Humanism means the development of human virtue in all its forms to its fullest extent. The term thus implied not only such qualities as are associated with the modern word humanity, understanding, benevolence, compassion, mercy, but also more assertive characteristics as fortitude, judgment, prudence, eloquence, and even love of honor. Humanism calls for a fine balance of action and contemplation. Now coming to basic principles of humanism. Well, the first principle is classicism. Early humanists return to the classics with a sense of deep familiarity. The Italian scholar and poet Petrarch dramatized his feeling of intimacy with the classics by writing letters to Cicero and Livy. Machiavelli's works shared with the ancients an independent wisdom of human affairs. Classical thought offered insight into the heart of things. Now, next principle is realism. A large part of realism rejected traditional assumptions. It aimed at the objective analysis of experience. Humanists deeply read history, taught it to their young, and wrote it themselves. They were confident that their reading of history would enhance their active role in the present. Machiavelli believed in treating men as they were and not as they ought to be. Similarly, direct experience became more important than traditional wisdom. Leon Alberti was of the view that an essential form of wisdom could be found only at the public marketplace, in the theatre and in people's homes. The same view was shared by Francisco. Humanists asserted the dignity of normal earthly activities and even endorsed the pursuit of fame and the acquisition of wealth. The emphasis was on a mature and healthy balance between mind and body. Now the next and the last principle is active virtue. The emphasis on virtuous action as the goal of learning was a founding principle of humanism. Humanists held that happiness could not be gained without good works and just and righteous deeds. The best works were those that benefited many people. Those are most virtuous and cannot be pursued without strength and nobility. 
So friends, here I come to the end of the topic that is humanism. If you have subscribed to my channel, well is fine. If you haven't, then do subscribe to my channel so that we are able to meet again and again and I'll be coming up with fine videos for you that will help you in your career. Thank you.